What you'll need today is crayons, colored pencil, piece of paper, and an eraser. I thought we could draw a ball. That would be fun, that would be easy. I've got this thing on, it helps me to draw good circles. See that? Corrects it. Otherwise, I just would go in a circle over and over again like this. I'll show you what that looks like. I'll just go over and over and over until I kind of got the outline that I want. And then I would erase the rest and try to go around it. You can also use a guide like a coffee can or a the bottom of a cup if you want to do that so um, or what I like to use was a protractor this is some it's like what you would see we had a protractor when I was growing up and you could draw a circle around that you just trace around it okay we're using chalk today so it looked more like that okay and then you move your outline and you have it Okay, so we got a basketball here. What lines are in a basketball? Well, basketball kind of has lines like a baseball. There's this curve like this, okay? Then there's a opposite curve on the bottom that goes like that. There's a line that comes through the middle like that, and another curve. All these are curved. That's a basketball right there. That's easy enough. Why don't we do a baseball? Okay, so we need a different color for a baseball since we're dealing with white. I'm gonna turn back on my helper over here. Man, it's nice to have that helper because otherwise I'd be drawn, drawn, drawn. Okay, what does a baseball have? Let's see, let's find a red that's real bright here. This is good. Baseball has stitches, and they stitch the leather together with these stitches. Okay, baseball's got a little curve like that. Got another curve coming in this way. And then if we're gonna put our stitches in there, we wanna do like this. And I'm just gonna make it simple for us. Okay, stitch, stitch, stitch. All right, there's tennis balls. I gotta find a particular kind of green for that. Greenish yellow. And I think it's right in this category right here. This is tennis ball color, I'm pretty sure. Okay, tennis ball's almost the size of a baseball, not quite. I don't know why it does that weird thing on here, but I'm gonna erase them. Okay, let's get back to our chalk here. So tennis ball has these white stripes in it that look almost like a baseball and a basketball. Really, really odd how all these balls kind of have these same contours like this, here, here, here. That's just them, how they found out is best to stitch round balls together like that. Okay, golf ball. Golf ball is easy because it's pretty much a circle. I mean, to draw it, it's kind of hard because you got all the dimples inside. That was a little more real. I had to, we had our helper off, our helper guide. Okay, so let's just go with it. Okay, so in your golf ball, you get these little dimples in there. I'm gonna just draw best I can. I know there's a better way to do this. Probably it would be just to fill it in. And then use your eraser to draw the dimples. Golf balls have these little dimples in there. 
And if we got real tiny with it, okay, we could probably. Just draw the dimples in there. That didn't turn out very well. I'm not liking it. But that's the way that it is with drawing is that you have to go back and try again and again until you get it right. It's good for us too. I'm just going to do it this way. We know those dimples still have color in them. Yeah, it's not perfect, but we're just drawing. Okay, golf ball. Let's leave it at that. Although I doubt I will because I like to do things perfectly, which rarely happens. All right, what other ball is there? Hmm, well, there's this, uh, a badminton. Have you heard of that before? It's not really a ball, it's something else. Get our chalk here, let's get white. Okay, looks like this, really strange thing. You've probably seen this and they hit it with rackets. called badminton. It's kind of fun. Okay. And let's get us some red here because this thing's kind of a reddish color here. Okay. Yeah, badminton. So I'll probably come in here again with the white and just make it a little more firm. Ever seen that game played before? It's a lot of fun. You just hit this thing, kind of floats up in the air a little bit, but then it comes down eventually and you gotta try to hit it over before it hits the ground. And usually there's two players against two players, badminton. I don't think I've ever drawn one of those before. Just trying to do it from memory. All right, <coughs> excuse me, there's some other kinds of balls out there, like, get back to this. Let's see if you can guess what I'm doing here before I finish this. This is just a, a fun one here. Ooh, I don't like that. You probably already know where I'm going with this. Okay. I've got a really neat feature on this uh, little program I use that can make this a lot easier. Maybe I'll show it to you sometime. I'm gonna do this because we've got one side a little more pointy than it needs to be. So I'm gonna just erase. All right, anybody know what I'm talking about there? If you do, say it out loud. Okay. Okay, and then these balls have, um, oops. Your stitches are like right along there, and then they've got some stitches that you use for your hand to throw, and I'm gonna put those right up here on top. I just actually put it right here. So when you throw a football, you put your hand on those stitches. And when you do, it helps you to be able to control where the ball goes. And you can throw what they call a spiral. Fun. Oh, I know there's another kind of ball, probably the most famous ball in all the world. Although it's not as big in America as it is in other places, 
but that just shows that we sometimes in America get kind of consumed with ourself. Anybody guess what it is? If you know it, say it out loud. Okay, um, you're gonna know it in just a moment. Anybody know what I'm doing here? Okay, just in case you don't, maybe this will help. Whoa, I don't know what happened there. My program did not like that. Let's come back and do it again. Okay, anybody know? That's right, soccer ball. I don't know if I got it right there, but maybe I got our patches are too big, but it's a soccer ball. Hmm. I know there's some other kind of ball out there. Oh, here's one. It's kind of like baseball, but it's not. And if you were at one of our men's fellowship one time recently, you probably remember this. I'm going to use my cheater method here. It's a cheater method. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm going to leave it just because you have to because you don't have this program. Although if you like this program, there's it's called SketchUp, and you can get it on your phone and your tablet for free. Okay, let's see if you can pick this out. I'm just going to kind of color this in here. But then, oh, that's goofy. That's not what I intended to happen. Okay. is a plastic kind of ball. Are you there yet? Do you know what it is? If you know it, say it out loud. If you guess wiffle ball, you're right. Okay, let's see. There's some other things that are out there. Oh, I know one. <clears throat> that was not good. I'm coming back. I'm coming back here. All right, zoom out some so we can get some room here. Let's see if you can guess this. Okay. Oh. You might have guessed it, but just in case you didn't, I'm gonna come in here with this. There we go. Anybody know what that is? It's a pool ball. Yeah. Let's see, we could probably do one more. I know of one, you may not know this one, but maybe, maybe you do. Let's try it. This one, I'm kind of really reaching out there. Let's get our... Okay, this one is round. Find my chalk. Let's go with uh, kind of a red color, yeah. That's really dark. Let's make it a little bit lighter. Let's go with this blue instead. There's a game, and you use this certain kind of thing with it. Okay. 
here's what you use with it just because this I thought this might be fun look right over here in this corner get rid of that anybody know where I'm going with this if you don't just keep on I think down here there's some kind of colors sometimes like maybe a green if you got a green ball or blue this is what we should have used here if you're the blue guy you might have some stripes right here on this handle that's called a croquet mallet so I'm just gonna back that out dun, 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 dun. Bing, bing, bing. Okay. Uh, anybody knows what goes with this ball? Let's see if we can draw that real quick. It looks like this. No. I mean, it could be blue, but usually it's like this color. It's a baseball bat. So there's that. We're not gonna let that bat stay around. Okay, how about with this ball? You know what goes with it? It looks something like this. And this you could do almost any color. Then I would just come in here. All right, tennis racket. Back that out. Okay, what else? Well, there's lots of things like you could draw this to go with this. Fun. And over here, it's a bat. Here, it's probably something more like this. A very good shoe and a foot, but it'll work. You get the point. Over here, they have a racket, kind of like a tennis racket. You hit this ball, this uh, birdie in badminton. Okay. And then your hand with the football, you saw the croquet mallet. And then this one, maybe their final one here. It's got this little green dot on the end. Okay, and back. Cool cue. Usually there's a white stripe in here somewhere. And that's pretty, that's the most pathetic looking pool cue I've ever seen. But that was fun. We drew some of the sports equipment that we use to play with these different kinds of balls. All right, hope you had fun. That's it for now.